Game four, Nats Astros. And it was Jose Uquiti and Patrick Corbin on the mound. It's the 10th World Series in which the road team has won the first three games. Top first, Alex Bregman, who's been struggling big time. One for 13 coming in. That's a good sign for the Astros, at least. Next batter, runners on the corners, Yuli Gurriel. Beats the throw to first. Michael Brantley scores, so it's 2 0. Remember, the Astros, though, scored two in the first inning in games one and two and lost, and they had been 28 0 coming into the postseason or coming into the World Series in that situation. Top four, Robinson Chirinos, six catcher to Homer in back to back World Series games. So Corbin worked six innings, allowed four earned, and he struck out five. Kitty was on fire getting Juan Soto and Ryan Zimmerman. Two batters later, Jan Gomes flying out to right to end the fifth. Worked five innings of shutout baseball, did Urquidy. Struck out four, allowed just two hits. Into the seventh, Alex Bregman against Fernando Rodney, and this ball is just impeached. A grand slam, the first American League player to hit a World Series grand slam since Paul Canerco in 05 against the Astros. Bregman knocks in five as the Astros control this one from start to finish. They win it 8-1, pounding out 13 hits in the process. Nationals just one for nine with runners in scoring position. Soto 0 for three, Kendrick 0 for four, Zimmerman 0 for four. Anthony Rendon, the only one with the multi-hit game. He went two for four. Then you take a look at what the Astros did on their side. Brantley and Bregman each with three hits. Mariznick with two, Chirinos with two. And it sets up game five now as we're tied at two. Taking place on Sunday, Max Scherzer against Garrett Cole. Beyond the box, mentioned Alex Bregman, five knocked in, most in a World Series game by a third baseman. The Nationals now one for 19 with runners in scoring position in games three and four. The over ekes one out. It was set at eight and a half and the over has come in three of the four games so far in this World Series. From one game four and let's look ahead. Joined by Will Middlebrooks, won the World Series with the Red Sox back in 2013. Did you feel it from the beginning when Alex Bregman started things off for the Astros that it was gonna go Houston's way? You know, I, I think you're right about that. Uh, you know, Bregman's a guy, I love everything about him. It's hard not to love him. His intensity, his focus, He's just a really good baseball player and fun to watch, but he's been struggling. You don't see that much from him, but he's, he's the type of guy that you can't hold him down for long. His confidence is so high. His team just really feeds off of him. So when he goes, they go, and boy, did they go tonight. Yeah, did they ever. What do you make of the pitching performance of what Houston got on their side? Yeah, I mean, to hold a, a good offense to one run with a with a bullpen day, Right. Urquidy is – unreal he's a real deal this this guy supposedly is going to be in their rotation next year uh he's coming off tommy john and you know a, a season of getting his innings back up but if you watch this guy throw he's still enforcing fastballs down the middle and getting swings and misses not foul not even foul balls swings and misses by good hitters so that tells me one thing as a as an ex-player if you're getting swings and misses like that you're it's coming out funky you got that extra jump on his fastball, and then his secondary pitches. His slider is really nasty, and the changeup's elite. It's really good. So three plus plus pitches. I think he's going to really help that uh, that rotation out. Well, it's it's now the it, it's just the fifth World Series in which the road team has won at least each of the first four. What do you, what do you make of road teams dominating? That's a really good question because. Home field advantage normally plays a huge part in the in these postseason games, and uh, we've seen it at both places. The places are rocking, right? But the home team's losing, so that's just baseball being baseball. Honestly, it's you can only predict so much when it comes to to baseball, round ball, round bat. You just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Does it make it that much more difficult then to predict what's going to happen in Game Five? 
I don't know about that. You know, I, 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 we know how good Garrett Cole is. I don't see them beating him again. I know going against Scherzer, I've faced both these guys. They're both unbelievable pitchers. Garrett Cole is just the best pitcher in baseball right now. I, I don't see them beating Cole again. I don't see them beating Verlander again. That, that's, I mean, I just don't see it. All right, so put yourself in managers' positions or even clubhouse leaders' positions after this one. What are you saying on both sides? On both sides, uh, in Houston, they're not saying much. You're, you're just riding that wave, and you're, you're feeling it right now. I mean, you, that, that's a big win. You don't normally win by that many runs in a, in a big postseason game or World Series game. You don't, you don't win by seven runs. That's not normal. It's normally a very close game. So they're not saying much. They're just going to ride this out and keep the momentum going because it's very clearly shifted their way. Uh, on the national side, they're just trying to get rid of this game as quick as possible and move on to tomorrow and just immediately turn the page. Because the worst thing you can do is a harp on the negatives of today and being shut down by just a bullpen. All right, so then how do you handle that when you're Max Scherzer on the mound trying not to be too jacked up in this type of situation? Well, you know, Max is their Mad Max. He's their uh, emotional leader. Right. I mean, they, they like the Astros feed off of Bregman and the way he acts on the field. The Nationals feed off of Scherzer. They love that. He's like foaming at the mouth every pitch. He can't wait to throw it. He's going to throw it everything as hard as he can. There's sweat and spit flying all over the place. I love it. I love it. They love it, and they're going to play well behind them. All right, so that's what's coming up. Sunday is Game 5. Max Scherzer against Garrett Cole. Will Middlebrooks. Will, thank you very much. Thank you.